Now we're going to move on to a new category, which is oral findings. And there are some important findings that I'm just going to list here. First, with primary adrenal insufficiency, you can see hyperpigmented, which are blue-black gingiva. Next, complex spots. These are found on the palate and the buccal mucosa in measles, and these present as small white vesicles on an erythematous base. Next, you can see white adherent plaques on the tongues of patients with hairy leukoplakia, and this is often seen in patients with acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and Epstein-Barr virus is the cause of this condition. Next, we already talked about Puchieger syndrome, and in these patients, you can see oral melanocytic mucosal macules on the lips and buccal mucosa. They can also be on the perianal area, hands, and the palms. Remember, Puchieger is associated with intestinal hamartomatous polyps, so they need to be screened. Another condition is when you can see a beefy red tongue and angular chelitis, With that, think about B-complex vitamin deficiencies. Next, macroglossia, or a big tongue. That is sometimes a manifestation of systemic amyloidosis. can also be seen in acromegaly, trisomy 21, congenital hypothyroidism, as well as Beckman-Lenemann syndrome, metabolic shortage diseases, congenital vascular tumors, and congenital malformations of the tongue. Next, white lesions. We already talked about hairy leukoplakia, and we already talked about thrush previously from Canada, but also when you see white lesions, think about white sponge nevi and pre-malignant and malignant lesions, such as squamous cell carcinoma. Next, migratory patches surrounded by erythematous white borders. When you see that, think about geographic tongue, aka benign migratory glossitis. It's benign, asymptomatic, and can sometimes be associated with psoriasis. Next, if you see a strawberry tongue, which is a red, bumpy tongue that kind of looks like a strawberry, think about scarlet fever or Kawasaki's disease. There's more information about Kawasaki's in the rheumatology section. And lastly, when you see a bald tongue, which is also called atrophic glossitis, that is a smooth, glossy tongue. That can be related to nutritional deficiencies such as iron or vitamin B deficiencies, also with xerostomia. Sjogren's syndrome, oral candidiasis, celiac disease, and lichen planus. And sometimes it's just idiopathic 